From above, these paddocks might look productive, but below the surface, there are issues. Here on South Australia's Air Peninsula and across many parts of the nation's southern grain growing regions, soil calcium carbonate levels are high. Known as calcareous soils, they make cropping a real challenge. Certainly the more calcareous stuff which is closer to the coast um, struggles for yield and I guess I'm using more grazing on that side of the property as well um, and if the yields are down by 20 or 30 per cent so by the time you factor that into the gross margins that brings it back to only or barely a positive gross margin um, compared to the better soil so it's certainly a, a big handbrake on the profitability is these calcareous soils. The Coolmans have been farming on the western side of Air Peninsula for more than a hundred years. It's low rainfall country, but today the weather was kind. Farming here is limited to cereals and sheep. On Peter's 10,000 hectares, wheat covers 75% and barley the rest. Sowing them dry is not so easy. The germination isn't so, so good and the growth. Um, most of the plants that come up, they don't tiller very well and if they're slow in coming up, then they're more exposed to the rhizoctonia and patalancus. It's common for calcareous soils to have a calcium carbonate content of 40%. Peter Kuhlman says the worst of his country has 70%. These alkaline soils also tie up phosphorus, and diluted phosphoric acid is used as fertiliser to provide available P and convert some of the calcium carbonate into carbon dioxide. So I'll just demonstrate what it looks like. It'll be put down a continuous line, so there's lots of points of contact, but this will effervescent and looks quite spectacular. So here it is on the topsoil. If I try and pour a little bit. So this is the, the acid reaction. We get a benefit from acidifying the soil a bit. So that's got the, the P in it, which is quite available. And if I put it on the subsoil, it probably will fizz even more. So you can see that's quite spectacular there. Um, but by using phosphoric acid, we're getting good early growth out of our plants and we can carry fungicides and trace elements in the stream. An investment by the GRDC into new research involving the Soil CRC, CSIRO, New South Wales DPI and Primary Industries and Regions South Australia will build on earlier research findings that still shape crop management decisions. The research that Bob Holloway did years ago said that on the high, highly calcareous soils we can get better effect um, with only half the rate which is about on a par cost wise and use a bit of nitrogen if I need to. And because it's a, a liquid stream, I can add zinc in there as well, which is just another insurance method to try and get the crop up and away. Any new research outcomes could also help to close the gap between potential and present yields. At Matamakla, Peter Kuhlman is averaging 1.2 tonnes to the hectare. He believes better summer weed control could start to reduce his yield gap. I would think if we got it all right, we probably could jump it up another 30%, so 1.6 could be, could be possible, I, I would think. Decades of difficulty in getting more from these hostile soils underscores the need for this new calcareous soils initiative. Oh, it's very important, I guess that's a path that my father's followed down as well, is um, looking at the latest research and seeing how we can do things a lot better and I guess that, that was my role previously in GRDC um, just trying to, to find so, something extra to, to make it more profitable in farming and our margins are very slim and anything we can find that's going to help that would be uh, great for the farmers with this um, unusual soil type. 
This Upper Eyre Peninsula trial site and several others in the southern region will help the research effort to more fully understand the nature of these soils and their impact on water use efficiency and crop production. I'm hopeful there's a, an answer out there. There's certainly been challenging soils and something that we can apply or afford to apply. The other challenge we have is a declining rainfall which is making it harder on everything too. Our water use efficiency is going up but our average yields are still staying similar to what they were when my father started farming so that's a, a big challenge as well. Go to the description bar below for the latest information, links and resources.